Today, from Pasadena, California, Michigan versus USC. In the 1979 Rose Bowl. And what a gorgeous first day of 1979 here in Pasadena, California. You're looking in the Arroyo Canyon. In the background, the famed San Gabriel Mountains. Just a perfect day for football. Temperature is 75 degrees. A slight breeze will be blowing from the right goal to the left. Ideal. Now we're moving into the famed Rose Bowl Stadium. 106,000 fans jammed in here. They could have sold nearly 200,000 tickets for this game. The field will be lightning fast. And you know that SC has been trying to establish an off-tackle and outside running game. I think they may be a little concerned about running up the middle. Ray Peters, the guy who's starting at center for USC, is the sixth string center. They had an incredible string of bad luck with their centers. Take a look at Peters there. He played nose guard up to this year, and they moved him to center when they lost everyone. Third down and three for the Trojans. Donald wants to throw, and he's got it for a touchdown. He hit his receiver in the end zone for the touchdown. And Hobie, Hobie Brenner. Hobie Brenner, where'd he come from? <laughs> he's listed as about a four-stringer. Juice just said he wasn't in his game plan. <laughs> Hobie Brenner caught that ball. We got him hot. <laughs> okay, Paul McDonald, little fake in there, Lynn Kane. He comes off. Actually, it was excellent defensive coverage. You see, he's getting pretty good pressure, puts the ball the only place it can be thrown. And Hobie Brenner comes up with six. They have two tight ends for Michigan. Gene Johnson, 88. Doug Marsh, 80. A little more blocking power. Look at those impressive statistics. He holds a string of records now at the University of Michigan. Ridgely keeps the ball, throws it out to Huckleby. Huckleby. Slammed out of bounds on the 42-yard line. We're in the last minute of the first period of the Rose Bowl game with USC out in front, 7-0. We've had some great charges by the defensive linemen, both teams. White again, he's hit and pulled down on his 41-yard line. Bo Schembechler said, O.J., it's phenomenal how they'll let a back carry the ball 30 times a game. Way wide. How many? Uh, you averaged over 35 times a game, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, about 38. I think one, you run so much in practice, you run about twice that amount of time in practice. But the big thing is, SC will always have a big, strong, sturdy offensive line. And I think a back can carry the ball quite a bit if he has big, strong linemen because defensive linemen are not tackling them. And if they're tackling them, your offensive line is not doing the job. Third down, 11. Trojans operating out of the eye. Oh, he's hit. The ball's loose. Michigan has it. Okay, this is how the turnover occurred. Gives Michigan the same kind of break SC had early in the ball game. McDonald is back, and you can see he barely gets set up before Seabrook lowers the boom on him, and the ball takes a hike. And B.J. Dickey, sophomore, will hold and doing the kicking will be Greg Wilner. He had six out of 12 this year. This will be a 36-yard attempt. The kick is up, up, and the kick is good. Michigan is on the board. 36-yard field goal with 13.37 to go in the first half. Kicking off, Brian Virgil for Michigan. Charles White, Raymond Butler deep for USC. And this one is handled by Butler. The 20, breaks away, he's at the 30, 35, 40, 45, still going, and is down in Michigan territory at the Michigan 49. Paul McDonald, a junior, he'll be back next year, brings him up. They're on the Michigan 49. That's Kane ripping through to the 41. Lynn Kane is stopped by Gene Bell, number 42. And watch this block by Charles White. I guess when you're not carrying the ball, you must be active. <laughs> Blocking behind the, the runner. And that, that is shows a you're into the game. That's a defensive tackle, Curtis Greer. And there's a little size difference. Once he once he hit him, he wasn't satisfied. He went after him again. You're talking about tough. This is the toughest part of the football field to gain anything on. White again. And a fumble. It's a big fumble. 
They say he was over. Dunking in. You let them look for themselves. And I can't even see the ball, let alone whether or not I can't dropped. see the ball. It looked like the ball was behind him, though, John. But all you have to do is break the plane of the end zone and it counts. I thought he had lost it. See the ball below. The ball is right there. Now, what you can't tell is whether he was over the plane of the end zone when the ball fell out. And I don't think we should put ourselves in a position of judgment when we're not on that goal line. They're well, on the goal line. Well, I'm not on the goal line. I'm for SC, but I thought he fumbled the ball, John. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm glad. We must be living right, you know, down here in Southern California because it's seven points no matter how you look at it now. Now, Michigan will have a lot of controversy to say about that. Boy, Simpkins, Simpkins made a good, he made a good play to get a piece of that ball on the, on the touchdown of Charles White. It looks like from this angle, we could determine it. Oh, and I... Long before. I, yeah, I stand it's, corrected. It's not a touchdown. <laughs> yeah, he is. Leach. Ooh. Running, 15, 20. He has a first down. That's what you call sucking it up, pal. He knew right where that first down yardage was. He had to lower his head. He had to take the lick, and he did it. Yeah, he's rolling out here. He's looking to pass. I don't think this is an all-out run. I think he is looking to pass, but, you know, being the great All-American and athlete that he is, he knew he needed a first down, and he got what he needed. A little more than he asked for. <laughs> You know, he has started 48 games. He's never been injured. 48 games. He was a starter as a freshman. Rick Leach from Flint, Michigan. A durable man. Drive back. He's under the gun. Out he comes. 25, 30. Goes down in the 34. He doesn't slide down. He takes them on. He was looking for a hole that time, and rightly so. That was a play that only a great athlete can get out of. He's, he's well hemmed in. SC's defensive ends are containing him very well, forcing him to the inside, hoping he can get some linebacker help. Dennis Johnson comes over late. First down, Michigan from their 34 in the waning seconds of the first half. Leach is throwing the bomb to Clayton. Clayton's down there, and he can't get it. And he was well covered along the way by Carter Hartwick. Frank Jordan, whose longest kick this year has been 40 yards, We'll try a 35-yarder. Ten two, out of 19 for him. With two seconds left. He beat UCLA with two seconds left last year. Beat Notre Dame with two seconds left. This year, and with two seconds left, he kicks another one in the road, though. He's a, there goes White in motion. Well, Ten minutes to play in the third period. Shows how much I know. The Donalds with the bubbles. And who has it? USC recovered. Looked like John Geisler. Jerry Meter was there. And then Keith Van Horn got underneath him. Meter had the first shot at it. Let it get away from him. This is the same thing that happened to him uh, uh, earlier in the game when he fumbled. He didn't even see the man. And you can see he paid the price. He dropped the ball. and Back to the 44 of USC. Third down and seven. Leach fakes. Look at him pursuing. He better throw. He throws on the run. He's got run. him. He's and it is a touchdown, Michigan. Roosevelt Smith got the ball. He beat Dennis Smith. Third period. And the score is USC 17, Michigan 10. Touch of the offbeat. Mixed with a touch of the absurd. There goes Charlie White. Charlie White starting to pick him up now. Tom Sebron, the outside linebacker, stopped it, but it's a first down USC. And they're going to keep picking it up as long as their tackles. Keith Van Horn, uh, Otis Page do the kind of job they've been doing with Lynn Kane blocking in front of uh, White. Second down, eight. Leach spinning around. Get Look at that. Out. There's a great throw. That's the tight end, Doug Marsh, with the ball. He's that hurt. shows you what an athlete Leach is. He's down Rick as Leach he was is. hit. How he got rid of that ball, I'll never know. Leach was third in the Heisman Trophy balloting and was a first-team All-American his senior season. All he did at Michigan was to be the starting quarterback all four years. He was drafted in the fifth round of the 1979 NFL Draft by the Broncos, but he never played in the NFL because he was also an outstanding baseball player. He was selected in the first round, 13th pick overall, 
in the 1979 Major League Baseball draft by the Detroit Tigers. He played Major League Baseball from 1981 through 1990. Not only did he win the Big Ten batting championship as a junior, but he also holds the rare distinction of being named All-American in both baseball and football. And they have five minutes and 42 seconds to try and do something. Leach to Jackson. Jackson. Looked like he wanted to pass. He does pass. Throws it up in the stand. Michigan ended up punting. And Southern Cal held on to the ball the rest of the way to win 17-10. Rick Leach and Charles White were co-MVPs. Kurt Gowdy interviewed Paul McDonald after the game. What about